Hello, hello, welcome back to another Bridge video. My name is Sarisha, and today I'm going to be teaching you something. <laughs> um, before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe, um, comment, like all of those YouTube-y things um, so that we can continue to make these videos every single week. Just a heads up, um, everything else was recorded. I'm making this intro after the fact because um, I had another intro, but I just had to redo it. Uh, so everything after this will be in the past. So I am talking about past me making a baked potato today. <laughs> Uh, but before we get into me teaching you something, um, I'm going to do the word of the day like we do every single week, something that you can take with you, use on an everyday basis. Today's word of the day is anguish. It is a noun. It means extreme distress of body or mind. Now, if you were to, going to use it as anguished, that would be a verb. So if someone, if you anguish over what to say, uh, back to a friend in a text message, that would be a verb. Uh, now, if you were going to use it as a noun, you could say a look of anguish crossed over um, my friend's face uh, when another friend was being mean to them. So those are two different ways that you can use the word anguish in a sentence. Uh, now, before we get into microwave baked potato cooking. This week I am going to give you um, a fact about bridge, something that I miss. Um, and I definitely, it's nice outside today, so I definitely miss when it's nice outside, just a light breeze when we could go out and we could play football or just run around on the track and have snack outside. I definitely miss that. All right, well that's it. Um, let's get into some microwave cooking. Today we are going to be baking a potato in the microwave. So the basics of what you need are a very well washed potato, something to cook it on, a fork, some salt and pepper, other herbs if you want, and some oil. And at the end, you can also add any kind of toppings that you want to go in the potato. All right, so let's start. So like I said, I already pre-washed my potato. You wanna make sure that scrub it because usually potatoes, um, when you get them, they're kind of dirty. So you wanna get your potato and you wanna prick it with your fork. And this makes sure that the potato doesn't explode in the microwave. So this is a very important step. So I'm just gonna prick it a bunch of times. There's no exact amount of times that you want to prick it, but you want to make sure that you get every part of the potato. Now this is where, for me, it's going to get messy. If you have spray oil, you can use that, but I like to use olive oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of oil on my potato and I'm just going to kind of rub it around on the plate. And then I'm going to take my salt and I'm going to generously season my potato. So I like to eat the potato skins and they're much better when they've been salted before you cook them. They're just way more delicious. So I'm going to put salt on it and then I'm going to put some pepper. And then I'm just going to make sure that every surface of the potato is covered in that salt and pepper, oily goodness. And I'm going to prick it a couple more times just for good measure. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to put it in the microwave for five minutes. I'm going to flip it after five minutes and then I'll put it in for another five minutes. So I'll see you guys back when uh, we're gonna flip the potato. So I just flipped my potato and I used some tongs. It's very hot, so you wanna be really careful. So you can probably hear it's going for another five minutes, but I used the tongs to flip it over upside down. And what I'm doing while the potato 
is cooking, I cleaned up, I put the oil away. And I also shredded some cheese and got a little bit of butter to put on the potato. And I'm making some broccoli um, that I'm gonna eat on the side. So that's gonna be my dinner. I'm gonna have a, a big potato and some broccoli. You can also add, you know, meat, um, bacon bits on top of your potato, um, anything you really like. And this can be a really hearty either meal or snack. All right, it is done. Feels like it's gonna be delicious. So I let the uh, potato sit for a couple of minutes uh, after it finished in the microwave just because I knew it was going to be really really hot and I also made sure to use a towel when grabbing the plate because it's it's going to be warm because it's been in there for almost 10 minutes so I'm just going to take my tongs and I'm going to put it on my regular plate I'm going to move this to the side and I decided to make some broccoli. I also decided to cut up a couple of tomatoes. And now you just cut into your potato, open it up, and add, see how steamy, delicious. Um, and you can scrape the inside a little bit and add whatever you want to add to it. So I'm going to put some butter. I'm actually going to close it up so it melts a little bit around it. I'm also going to put some salt and some pepper on it. And like I said before, I'm going to add a little bit of cheese so that it'll melt. And I'm also going to add the tomatoes on top, but I also sometimes just like to eat them on the side. And that is how you make a meal with a baked potato uh, in a microwave. Yum. Thank you for joining me uh, making my dinner for this evening. This is really easy, my favorite way to make potatoes because it's super fast. Uh, any other way I find just takes too long. It's not worth it. So this is a really great way to make a baked potato. As always, stay creative, try new things, wash your hands, clean up after yourself, and take a sip of water. I'll see you next time for another bridge video. Bye.